Good evening. Welcome to West Virginia's 2017 Joyful Night Celebration. Let's have a round of applause for West Virginia marching bands joining us tonight. The current and six-time reigning West Virginia State Marching Band Champions, the Cabell Midland High School Marching Knights, under the direction of Ken James. And the grand champion of this year's Battle of the Bands, the Spring Valley Marching Timberwolves under the direction of Mr. Joe Harvey. These bands make their communities and every West Virginian proud as they have represented our state all across the nation. Also give a stirring round of applause for the Appalachian Children's Course under the direction of Selena Midkiff. Thank you for sharing the gift of music with us this evening. Please direct your attention to the Capitol steps as members of the Mountaineer Challenge Academy Color Guard post the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Justice, and the First Lady, Kathy Justice.
honor America, please welcome from Capitol High School in Charleston, West Virginia, under the direction of Kathleen G. Corbett, members of the VIPs, to sing our national anthem. Immediately followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by the Adjutant General James Hoyer in the Mountaineer Challenge Academy. sounds of the holiday season, please welcome again the official children's chorus of the state of West Virginia, the world-renowned Appalachian Children's Chorus.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Commissioner of the Thank West you. Virginia Division of Culture and History, Randall Reed Smith. State of West Virginia, Jim Justice. Well, first of all, it's raining a little bit out here, but we've had a wonderful, wonderful, prolonged Indian summer, if you could say that, because we haven't had much rain for a long time, but we surely need to rain. But first and foremost, just think about what this time of year is all about. I mean, it's about joy and light and the birthday of our Savior, Jesus. What more in the world could we ever want than the best holiday of all the year that's coming in not very long? Now, let me just tell you this, that of all the joys that we have, there is nothing more spectacular than the simple joy of a small child smile. It is absolutely the most warming thing for all of us. Now in West Virginia, for a long time, we've surely had our blessings to smile about, but maybe we haven't had too many opportunities that made us happy. Now without making this in any way a political speech, I would just tell you that I, and Kathy, and my dear family, and I can probably get in trouble for this with part of my family, but tonight, tonight our daughter is going in the hospital to have our first grandchild. <laughs> So it is an incredible night for me in many, many ways. And Kathy, our son Jay, his, his wife, and Jill and her wonderful husband. But just think, just think of all the blessings that each and every one of us has. All the prayers that we should be extending to each and every one of us all the time. Again, I can't tell you anything more than just this. I wish you the happiest and the merriest of all Christmases, hands down. And I pray that the good Lord, and I know he will, will bless our great state and our great people forevermore. We got good days ahead. We got big smiles ahead. Count your blessings. Say your thanks to the good Lord, and absolutely, God bless each and every one of you. 
Thank you so much for Kathy and myself and having you in every way. And thank these wonderful, wonderful bands, our wonderful military, and thank you, Randall, and this wonderful children's choir, and on and on and on. I can't believe that Randall's singing White Christmas. Pretty good, wasn't it, Doug? <laughs> anyway, thank you. God bless. And now, the moment we have waited for, the lighting of the state Christmas tree. This year's tree is a beautiful 28-foot Douglas fir donated this year by Walker and Rita Polly from Elkview, West Virginia. Tim James and your marking, marching knights, drum roll, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. lady depart for the lower rotunda inside the Capitol. We would like to thank Al and Louise Crickmer from the Crickmer Christmas Tree Farms who donated a 15-year-old canane fir on behalf of the West Virginia Tree Growers Association in honor of Arnold Spitzen, past president of the association. The canane fir is native to Canane Valley and can be seen at the fountain on the north side of the Capitol. Before we move on, please pause for the retirement of the colors by the Mountaineer Challenge Academy. Thank you. 
Thank you for attending tonight's joyful night tree lighting ceremony. <laughs>